So just before you went into the hospital, there was this... I felt a ache in my hip. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking reveals in teen movies. She doesn't want to believe you because she is in love with you, Jonathan. For this list, we'll be looking at the most dramatic revelations and devastating twists from films directed at a teenage audience. This is your spoiler warning. What teen movie moment shock you the most? Number 10, It Was Just a Vision, The Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn Part 2. To give them their due, the Twilight movies were faithful adaptations of Stephanie Meyer's books. This one is me. Your niece. And daughter. However, the ending took us all by surprise. For the finale of Breaking Dawn, the Cullens prepare to battle the Volturi. In the book, Bella saves the day with her protective shield and no one has to fight at all. In the movie, though, the battle goes ahead and beloved characters actually start dying. <laughs> This can't be happening, cried the book fans. But actually, it wasn't. The battle was all a vision designed to persuade the Volturi leader that the odds wouldn't be in his favour if he proceeded with his plans. A bit of an anticlimax, maybe, but also a clever way to inject some action without depriving the fans of their happy ending. Nobody's ever loved anybody as much as I love you. There's one exception. Number 9, The Man Behind the Mask, Scream Although you might not remember who's who from the original Scream movie, the infamous ghost face mask is still a common sight on Halloween night. The film parodies the slasher genre while giving the audience genuine scares. Is that you, Randy? And what movie is this from? I spit on your garage. One of the most frightening moments is the shocking revelation of the killer's true identity. There's no dramatic removal of the mask, no. Instead, the truth dawns on Sydney while she's standing right in front of him. It's her boyfriend, Billy Loomis, alongside his best friend, Stu. Help me, please. Surprise, Sydney. The killer's ability to be in two places at once completely threw us off their scents. Several more local teens are dead, bringing to an end the harrowing mystery of the mass killing that has terrified this peaceful community. Number eight, Jace and Clary find out they're siblings, though they aren't really. The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. The first novel in Cassandra Clare's Mortal Instruments series was adapted into a 2013 movie, with the hope that sequels would follow, but we never did get that second instalment. I'm sorry, we didn't have a choice. I mean, we had to save Simon, and Jace just... Jace thinks he needs to save the world, but you don't need to encourage him to do it. This meant that moviegoers never got an answer to the crucial question. Were Jace and Clary really brother and sister? They begin the story as your typical love interests. They flirt, they kiss, they fall in love. And then they find out they have the same dad. Finally, both my children together, my daughter and my son. I'm so sorry, Clary. What is the audience supposed to do with that information? We can't unsee the kissing, so we can't understand the couple's decision to totally ignore their new knowledge and ride off into the sunset together. Look, Clary, I don't believe it. It doesn't feel like the truth, not in my heart. I, I just don't know how to look at the world anymore. At least the book fans knew the truth. Number seven, Prim doesn't make it. The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part Two. The Hunger Games began with Katniss's sacrifice, entering the games to save her sister. I volunteer! I volunteer! I volunteer as tribute! But while she was away, Prim grew up. She was no longer the helpless child who would be kept safe at home. You understand that whatever I do comes back to you and Mom. 
I don't want you to get hurt. You don't have to protect me. Or mom. In fact, she became a trained medic and ended up on the front lines at the Capitol when two bombs were dropped by the rebels. The first incited the medics to help the injured. The second wreaked further devastation but essentially ended the war. Prim was, unfortunately, caught in the calamity of the second bomb. Prim! Prim Rose! The distress of losing her right at the end was a devastating blow for Katniss and the viewers. It came as a shock and put a dampener on the otherwise happy ending. Number 6. Jamie Tells Landon Her Secret – A Walk to Remember In the grand tradition of Nicholas Sparks adaptations, A Walk to Remember begins as a love story, but tragedy is just around the corner. When bad boy Landon Carter is forced to participate in the school play as punishment, he forges a friendship with Jamie Sullivan. Are you sure you're okay? Mm-hmm. I'm fine. Thank you for everything. Jamie is the minister's daughter and a social misfit, but she makes Landon promise he won't fall in love with her. Naturally, though, he does fall for her, and it's only then that he discovers the reason for her request. Jamie has leukemia and has stopped responding to treatment. The doctor said I should go on and live life normally as, as best I could. I, I don't want anybody to be weird around me. Including me? Especially you. It's a real gut punch for the audience. Just like Landon, we're about to have our happy ending cruelly snatched away. You're my angel. Number 5. Aunt Helen – The Perks of Being a Wallflower Movies aimed at teenagers have a reputation for being trivial, but they often tackle serious issues. The Perks of Being a Wallflower is a coming-of-age drama about friendship, but also includes themes of mental illness, post-traumatic stress and abuse. We accept the love we think we deserve. Can we make them know that they deserve more? Charlie, portrayed by Logan Lerman, is a shy freshman who struggles with bouts of depression. We're told that his Aunt Helen died in a car crash, but at the end of the movie, we discover that her death has had more of an effect on him than we formerly realised. Charlie was sexually abused by Helen as a child and has repressed the memories. But it'll be our little secret, okay? The revelation is appalling, but not gratuitous. Once we know the truth, everything makes more sense. I can see it. This one moment when you know you're not a sad story. You are alive. Number 4. Maddie's Not Really Sick – Everything, Everything Everything, Everything is a teen movie based on the book by Nicola Yoon. It follows Maddie, an 18-year-old who never leaves the house due to an immunity disorder known as Skid. Her mother insists that she stay inside and doesn't mix with people, purely for her own safety. You didn't have to take the day off. I always take the day off. What do you want to do today? Same thing we always do. But when Maddie starts to fall for the boy next door, it becomes more difficult to follow her mom's wishes. I don't want to lose you. I can't even go outside. What are you really losing? As it turns out, however, she could have broken the rules a long time ago. At the end of the movie, it's revealed that Maddie isn't sick at all. Her mum has Munchausen's by proxy. Where are the papers, mom? What are, what are you talking about? You have records for everything, but you have nothing about Skit! Maddie's only problems are caused by staying inside too much and being over-medicated. Number 3. The Date on the Board – Remember Me Remember Me is a gentle love story, a coming-of-age tale, and a family drama about grief. You couldn't wear a tie? I could have. It also has one of the most intense endings ever committed to film. Viewers may have wondered why the movie appeared to be set in the recent past rather than the present. This was revealed in the final scenes. Tyler, played by Robert Pattinson, waits for his father in his office after mending their rocky relationship. 
Meanwhile, Tyler's sister Caroline is in a classroom where we catch sight of the date on a blackboard. It's September 11th, 2001. Caroline. Hello. The camera then pans out from Pattinson and we realise that he is in the World Trade Centre. If the filmmakers were going for shock value, they definitely achieved it. Whatever you do in life will be insignificant. But it's very important that you do it. Number two, Augustus's diagnosis, the fault in our stars. Augustus Waters and Hazel Grace Lancaster meet at a cancer support group. What? I didn't say anything. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you're beautiful. She's getting worse. He is in remission. This is Hazel's story and Augustus is cast as the eccentric but charming love interest who will help her experience life before she has to face her death. Okay. Okay. This is what we expected from the premise of A Fault in Our Stars. What we didn't bank on, though, was the return of Gus's condition. We knew we were getting a tragedy, but we weren't expecting Gus's death. The moment where Augustus tells Hazel the truth is made all the more heartbreaking by two incredible acting turns from Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort. Hey, listen. <sighs> Don't you worry about me, Hazel Grace, okay? I'm gonna find a way to hang around here and annoy you for a long time. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Kat's history with Joey, 10 things I hate about you. Kat tells Bianca why she hates her new boyfriend. Everyone was doing it, so I did it. Afterwards, I told him I didn't want to anymore because I wasn't ready, and he got pissed and he dumped me. Who really gave Micah the STI? Easy A. The guidance counsellor confesses all. So then he's telling everybody that it was you, so he has to say, because he didn't want me to lose my job, and he doesn't want to get in trouble either, so he said it's you. Sorry. Costa's wife, the sisterhood of the travelling pants too. Lena finally reunites with Costas, but she's too late. Lena? This is Melia? My wife. Blue's identity, love Simon. Simon finally meets his secret admirer. It's you. It's me. Snape loved Lily. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Harry discovers the truth about Dumbledore's agent. Lily. After all this time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Maze is an experiment. The Maze Runner the Maze Runner might not be the most memorable movie from the teen dystopia craze, but it does have the most dramatic final reveal. At the beginning of the movie, a boy named Thomas finds himself dropped into the world of the maze. You only have three rules. First, do your part. No time for any freeloaders. He and the other Gladers work together to defeat the trials thrown at them. In a final shocking twist, we discover that the teens are part of an experiment. A deadly virus has devastated the planet, and they are essentially lab rats. Hello. My name is Dr. Ava Page. I'm Director of Operations of the World Catastrophe Kill Zone Department. The maze is designed to test the subject's strength and provide humanity with hope for a cure. It's an intriguing reveal and sets us up for the sequel. So let's move forward. It's time now to begin phase two. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.